every word of God and specifically every promise of God is based on him unlimited it doesn't have a back end to it but we're the ones who put the limit on it with what measure we meet it's measured unto us The Holy Ghost is the God in the earth today, and you walk with him by Jesus saying words. Right My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, I have a responsibility to my partners, people that do worship the Holy Ghost, to give them meat in due season they are feeding on something that other people don't feed on mm -hmm. those words that go to them and come to them are a little bit different than the ones that other people can hear because they've heard something that other people haven't heard say i've heard something, I've heard something. that other people, that other people haven't, heard. haven't heard and therefore you you have to keep feeding on those things and part of your nutrition comes from that you can't go back to the old ways so i have to be diligent and faithful to feed these people mm -hmm. and jesus said the, the, that the faithful person would be blessed the one who feeds them in due season mm -hmm. well we are in the season of the holy ghost who is God in the earth today he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and you walk with him you walk with him by saying words this needs to be part of your daily diet say daily diet, daily diet. how do you think you're gonna walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today by saying words if you don't feed on this every day you won't you know what will happen you'll go back to your old religious ways and stupid thinking well this is the season of the Holy Ghost this is the dispensation of the Holy Ghost and your meat listen your meat should be in line with this you know how much meat is out there it's not is it really meat I don't know what it is I mean, it's just made up you know of, of fake things but your meat needs to be in line with this because so much supposed meat isn't in line with this at all and to me it just sounds empty it sounds like eating the car the carton instead of the hamburger that's supposed to be in it mm -hmm. your meat you're eating meat that's out of season is that good no. generally that's rotten meat mm -hmm. spoiled meat bad meat stay away from that meat but i'm offering you something some meat that other people aren't offering and it sounds different you can hear it it sounds different the holy ghost began ministering this to me there are those that should have moved on and didn't they stayed where they were at because it was comfortable I know how it is I had a choice at one point I could move on and go with the Holy Ghost and start preaching this message you know what happened everybody left mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't say everyone left the ones who were supposed to be here stayed and more and more people all over the earth are hearing with the ears of the Spirit what the Spirit is saying to them and they are moving on and they are going up and they are going on and they are eating the meat that is in season but there are those who should have gone on but he said to me they wouldn't worship me they would come up to the door and they wouldn't open that door of worship and say I worship you Holy Ghost it blocked them something blocked them something blocked them something blocked them every time they tried to go through there they would back off but if you don't worship him the holy ghost then i have meat you know not of and there's a realm that you have yet to discover 
in walking with him in the earth let's see if I can get you closer to that today would that be all right yes. God the Holy Ghost is looking for you with great anticipation John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him him who him God the Spirit the Holy Ghost is God he's the Spirit they that worship him say they that yes. are you a they that yes. say I'm a they that I'm, a they that. I'm one of those who worship him God the Spirit and this is different than most are doing are you here this is different than most are doing if you don't think this is different then you haven't been paying attention this is different in fact you can ask people you want to you want to find out where they're at real quick you ask them do you worship the Holy Ghost and then you wait for all the old worn out defeated doctrine that says why you shouldn't worship God he is God answer these questions is he God yes he's God he's the one that was sent into the earth to be with you is he not the only part of the Godhead who's actively in the earth today yes he is God is a spirit worship him if I do this if I go I worship you father I worship you father is everybody okay mm -hmm. and you go oh I worship you Jesus I worship you Jesus is everybody okay mm -hmm. everybody's fine with that but you know what Jesus isn't the father did you know that yep. Jesus is not the father okay mm -hmm. so I worship the father I worship Jesus but then do this I worship you Holy Ghost and everybody freaks out mm -hmm. they don't know him as God I worship you Holy Ghost only and I say only because he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today Jesus isn't in the earth and the Father isn't in the earth they are both in heaven and Jesus will return from the right hand of the Father mm -hmm. in the same way that he went Acts chapter 1 verse 11 right mm -hmm. and if he hasn't returned yet then he's still there with the Father say with the Father, with the Father. who he's not mm -hmm. and they sent the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today mm -hmm. so I worship him only and when I say only that's what I mean I'm worshiping him the Holy Ghost as the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and it's gonna matter as we go on here I'm telling you and this is what most people's doctrine allows for but they don't go here they stop at that door they don't walk through it therefore they can't see what's on the other side of the door the Holy Ghost says to me teach them to worship me teach them to worship me teach them to worship me and I will bless you if you worship him he will bless you can you hear that mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost says to you if you will worship him he will give you anything you want now there's a way that you can get those things after you worship him you need to start saying the things that you want in line with his word he is the promise you just worship the promise and then you say the promise he will give it to you meet in season what season are we in we're in the season where we walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today by speaking in agreement with his words if he is God in the earth today and we worship him I worship you Holy Ghost and then we begin to say his promises he does them glory be to God forever first John chapter 4 verse 4 you are of God 
little children and have overcome them the things in the world because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world who is he that is in you the holy ghost, the holy ghost. he's greater than that of the world everything in the world he's greater than that say he's greater than that, he's greater than that. who would be greater than everything in the world but god mm -hmm. are you here yes. he's the greater one that lives in you so this is bigger than you you know that's the problem with why people don't worship the holy ghost because they think maybe they're bigger than he is because he's just sort of an influence he's not an influence he's god and he's bigger than you and if you worship him you're putting him in the right position as one who's bigger than you mm -hmm. by and through worshiping him you are incorporating him as the greater one greater than what greater than you and greater than all of the things that you may have to do with he's greater than your family mm -hmm. did you know that mm -hmm. oh yeah he's greater than your job he's greater than your circumstances he's greater than the government mm -hmm. right in psalms 118:5 says i called upon the lord in distress the lord answered me who who's the lord the holy ghost in our day you called upon the holy ghost the holy ghost that you worship answered you and set you in a large place the place that's bigger than you his place mm -hmm. hebrews chapter 6 verse 13 for when god made promise to abraham because he could swear by no what greater. greater meaning god looked out and he saw nothing greater than himself yes. can you imagine that mm -hmm. and he had to swear by something mm -hmm. right he could find nothing greater than himself so he he swore by himself now swearing is the act of promising he even called it a promise when he made promise he made a promise to abraham yes. he made promises to you and he swore by himself because there's nothing greater than him mm -hmm. the greater one is in you and with you Amen. and he's made promises swearing yes. by himself I'm trying to get you out of your own little world limited thinking is God limited he's not limited except for by you in your life mm -hmm. there we got to shake you out of that limited thinking Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 most of us can quote it but let's read it my God who my God, my God the Holy Ghost say my God my the Holy, the Holy Ghost say my God, my God. The, Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost where's he he's in the earth he's with you he's in you he's with you he's in you he's in you he's with you the Holy Ghost get it straight my God the Holy Ghost shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory why would that be he's the greater one it's bigger than you the promises are based not on you the promises are based on his riches can you see where we should be going with this yes. it's according to his riches according to his wealth according to his promise according to his health mm -hmm. you suppose he's healthy yes is his youth renewed he's been around for a long time he must have some kind of youth renewal going on it's according to his standard in fact every word of God and specifically every promise of God is based on him mm -hmm. that there's no greater of 
right every promise of god every word of god is unlimited it doesn't have a back end to it it just keeps going it's infinite in scope i know that's hard for us to understand but we're the ones who put the limit on it with what measure we meet it's measured unto us yes. he didn't put the limit on it when he said i will supply all your need according to my riches in glory it's astounding isn't it he didn't put a limit on this is one of the things i love about the word of god because he's not saying you can't do it because you were born such and such your last name is this or your skin color is that has nothing to do with that that's that's preposterous it's based on him because there's no one greater and who are you supposed to be walking with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today so every word of God listen every word of God is unlimited it has unlimited power in it it has unlimited ability in it it's unlimited you just got to get in it and get in agreement with it what's that gonna make you unlimited take the limits off that's our job worship does that more than any other one thing because you're putting God in his place every promise of God is unlimited he said whosoever will he said what measure you meet he has enough to measure it back are you here we have been limiting the Holy Ghost you suppose the church has been limiting the Holy Ghost if we walk up to the door of the Holy Ghost and not worship him we put a limit on him mm -hmm. because he can't act as God the greater one but when I worship him as God and speak his promises that door is wide open it begins to do those things that are in the promise are you here yes. to me and for me psalm 78 at verse 41 hey, they turned back and tempted god or tested god and what limited the holy one of israel they turned back and limited the holy one of israel when you start saying worshiping the Holy Ghost and saying my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus I'm walking with him I'm walking with him that's how we walk with God mm -hmm. are you here yes. how's turning back what's turning back look like all oh, my needs aren't met you turn back with your tongue you start saying the opposite thing mm -hmm. they turned back and limited the Holy One of Israel can we limit God looks like we can limit God mm -hmm. who did the limiting they did by turning back so we need to take the limits off like I said worshiping him as God takes the limits off and keep going in that direction those of you out there who've been confessing the word regularly and keeping your confessions straight those things are coming to you they're moving to you right now things are lined up angels are beginning to move in your behalf and on your behalf keep worshiping him the Holy Ghost keep confessing his word and watch and see the greater one in your life take the limits off there's an open-endedness to God's Word can you see that did I get you there that it's unlimited each and every one of those promises will fulfill itself and keep going there's no limit to the healing power of god in your life he's not putting the limits on you there's no limit to the prospering power of god in your life mm -hmm. take the limits off take the limits off take the limits off worshipers see how this can be they see how it can be they start to see themselves differently in the light of the greater one 
unlimited healing unlimited prosperity unlimited youth renewal is it important to know the Holy Ghost as God yes. I hope I'm getting that across he's the one that you walk with he's the one you're speaking in agreement with he's the one you're giving license to be great proverbs chapter 6 verse 2 thou art snared with the words of thy mouth thou art taken with the words of thy mouth how does it say a person is snared with their words? Word. snared means captive mean taken back mm -hmm. meaning limited you can see how that's limiting right how are you taken out of that limitation thou art taken your words will take you there mm -hmm. say my words, my words will take me, take me there. there thou art limited with the words of thy mouth and the Holy Ghost is limited with the words of your mouth he can only go so far and no farther he can't be the greater one he can only be the sort of great every once in a while one you think he likes that mm -hmm. no he's the greater one and he likes to be called the greater one mm -hmm. say he likes to, he likes to be, be called, called the greater one. one see the Holy Ghost is greater than anything and everyone and everybody's things <laughs> he's God mm -hmm. you know he likes that right mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost you are greater than everything and you prosper me you give me power to get wealth you teach me to profit lead me by the way that I should go what's happening there I'm walking with him the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today Amen. and I'm not limiting him I in fact I've opened the door so he can become the greater one that he is stop limiting the Holy Ghost thou art taken or limited with the words of your mouth and thou art taken to unlimitedness by the words of your mouth mm -hmm. worship him and speak in agreement with his word and you will be taken there say i will be taken there, I will be taken there. if i worship him, if I worship him. and speak in agreement, in agreement with his word well walking with the Holy Ghost we know this it's topic of many other messages is speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. specifically his promises he is the promise which he swore by himself mm -hmm. he himself is the promise that you're speaking Proverbs 4 and then let's look at verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings say sayings, sayings. what is a saying speaking, speaking. Mm -hmm. attend to his speaking attend to the words that are being spoken Amen. you have to speak yourself and you have to attend to speaking those words those sayings it's more than one saying I can't tell you how many people say well I said that once that's not sayings attend and hearken to the sayings what do you do when you attend you're there you're present you're doing it for they are life to those that find them and health medicine to all their flesh all their flesh mm -hmm. life to your finances God's words in your mouth are life to your finances and he is the greater one say he's greater than my finances, he's greater than my finances. and when he's in my finances, when he's in my, finances my finances become greater, finances yes. become greater. how is this difficult listen the Holy Ghost says I live in the kingdom of words and I live in your life to the degree and measure that your mouth says my words mm -hmm. 
what degree doesn't he live there to the degree that you've limited him by what you've said you were taken captive instead of taken there if you attend to his words and incline your ear to the sayings there's life in that no sayings no life more sayings more life mm -hmm. proverbs 18 21 says life and death are in the power of the tongue mm -hmm. and there is a life that comes to you without limits changes you rewires you into a completely different person someone who couldn't do the things that you're called to do but you must be changed first and you're changed by putting your tongue in agreement with the holy ghost the living god god in the earth today life without limits so start this process wherever you are at right now start the process by acknowledging him as god in the earth and worshiping him i worship you holy ghost and begin speaking in agreement with his word it's a process mm -hmm. but it's working if you've been doing it it's working say it's working, it's working. and it's greater than you it's going to make you greater than you say I shall be, I shall be greater, than me. greater than me that makes me happy mm -hmm. you ever get tired of yourself mm -hmm. how would you like to be greater <laughs> well hook up with him start the process and keep it going be faithful over the little thing james called the little thing the tongue if you're faithful over the tongue great things are coming to you in fact there's a whole nother layer and realm on the other side of every word of god that you don't yet know about you can't even comprehend it yet until you're changed into it well how are you gonna get there is by speaking in agreement with his word you may not yet be able to comprehend what it's like to be a person of wealth keep going this greatness is waiting for you don't give up and don't stop things are beginning to move in your direction the great things shall come to you says the Spirit of the Lord and you shall know that day and you shall know that way and be caught up with me in my things and you shall know things that you've never known before and be the person that you were called to be that I've called you to be says the Spirit of the Lord in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand now who are we gonna talk to now we're gonna talk to the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today does he know anything about money say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are my God in the earth you know how to deal in the financial realm I call money I call it to come to me money cometh to me now in Jesus name I thank you Holy Ghost for it I'm made rich with no sorrow added in Jesus name amen